If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to get notified as and when I upload new videos. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ayn here from the Tech Info House, back with another video. So, in this video, guys, I'm gonna tell you the reasons why you may consider Mi Max 2 as an option for purchase if, in case, you are willing to spend a sum of 17,000 for a phone. So, let's get started, guys, with the video. Bam! <laughs> Now one of the main reasons for which you might consider Mi Max 2 as an option it's for its gigantic 5300mAh battery. Now honestly guys having a 5300mAh battery doesn't make sense until and unless it has a good processor to back it up to be more precise a power efficient processor. Now luckily enough the Mi Max 2 is having the Snapdragon 625 which happens to be the most powerful or most power efficient processor in the mid range segment so that's a great news and obviously there is 630 which has been launched recently but sadly enough Xiaomi hasn't used that but we can very much expect that on the Redmi Note 5 which is upcoming and I have made a video dedicated video about it and I'll provide a I button over here or here I'm not sure about it anyways guys so another reason for which you might consider Mi Max 2 as an option is for the addition of stereo speakers. Now one speaker you'll find at the bottom and another grill that you see is a microphone and the earpiece itself is the secondary speaker. So you'll get a stereo speaker that's a great news and you will get a more dynamic sound altogether which will enhance your multimedia experience in the phone. Now one of the most attractive changes in the overall design of the Mi Max 2 is the implementation of uni metal design or unibody design. Now previously on Xiaomi devices we used to see that the topper section and the bottom section of the rear were made with plastic for antenna bands. But right now the phone is totally unibody metal and the antenna bands run over the metal with black matte finish and it looks absolutely sick it's somewhat like the iphone's antenna bands anyways this hints us to something that is we can very much see this kind of design change on the upcoming redmi note 5 2 so do stay tuned with the latest leaks and update and i've already made a video i said it and i button will be here out there anyways One of the most interesting things about the Mi Max 2 is that Xiaomi has officially told which glass protection they are using. Yes, they have told which glass protection they are using. Now, if in case you are not a Mi user, this might be confusing because what's so special about telling which glass protection they use. But when it comes to Xiaomi, they are expert or the legends on not telling which glass protection they use. And in fact, I have told you the reason specifically why they don't tell you. Anyways guys, it is having Corning Gorilla Glass 3 which is a good news but honestly guys, the phone is having 6.44 inch display. So be it a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 even or 6 which hasn't yet arrived, if the phone falls, the phone will definitely crack guys. The bigger the display, the higher the chances are for the screen to break and moreover, the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 is good when it comes to scratches but not as good as when it comes to shatter resistance. So you need to be careful if you buy this phone but you knowing it having a protection is far more better than staying unsecure what protection are they using about on this phone. Now one another good news about the Mi Max 2 is that they are giving you Qualcomm Quick Charge 3. Now the phone is having a gigantic 5300mAh battery so having the Quick Charge will definitely help backed with a USB Type-C. So that's once again a good news. It's good that Xiaomi is taking the steps or the initiative in the mid-range segment to change the innovation from USB type 2.0 to 3.0 so once again a good thing that Xiaomi has done that's what great about Xiaomi you know they know how to like utilize the best thing and they know how to provide the best thing in budget and provide a balanced phone I use that term very often when it comes to Xiaomi they provide you a balanced phone anyways guys 
Um, if in case you have watched this video till now guys, I'll recommend you guys to know some of the important specifications of the phone before taking any kind of purchase decisions regarding the phone or in case you are just interested about the specs. Now the phone is having a Snapdragon 625 which I already said you but what I didn't say is that the phone is sporting a 4GB of RAM with a 64GB of inbuilt storage and that's the only variant at present available for a price tag of 16999. Now talking about the camera guys, Xiaomi claims that the camera has been improved a lot. The previous generation of Mi Max used to have a 16 megapixel camera whereas the Mi Max 2 is having a f2.2 aperture camera of 12 megapixel. So according to my general perception guys, having a f2.2 aperture camera means it will not perform very great in low light but according to Xiaomi they have really worked hard on the camera and they feel that the camera must have improved. Do I think the daylight camera will be really good or they as they say they have improved but I don't feel that the low light performance will be that great, the photos might be grainy or the light that is captured on the images will be far more darker than what we see with apertures with f2.4 or 1.7. Anyways guys, one another good thing about the camera is that now Xiaomi has said that it is supporting 4K recording at 30 FPS and also when it comes to slow motion it can record a 720p slow mo at 120 frames per second. So that's once again a good news guys. Now before ending this video I want to link this video to something that if in case you have watched Sharmaji Technical, if in case you watch Sharmaji Technical, he has made a particular video regarding the Mi Max 2 and he has said that the camera focusing speed is really good and he made a test where he played a video loop for continuous 11 hours on single 100% juice in the Mi Max 2. So think of that in practical reality guys, like practical days, how much big the battery can be, like 11 hours of continuous playback on a phone, think of that. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it and I'm not ashamed to link anyone's videos guys. I appreciate the big YouTubers out there, I appreciate everyone in the Indian YouTube community, in fact of the outer Indian community too and I love them a lot. And Obviously, I haven't reached the stage where they are and I respect their content and try to learn and I honestly try to learn from them new things and it's not always possible for someone to know everything. There's always something to learn from everybody. So I try to learn new things from everybody and people in India guys are very supportive and I really appreciate the way you have uplifted me, the way you have started to love me and we have reached 800 subscribers in such a short time and I'm really really glad and really really thankful to you guys for supporting me like this. Maybe someday I'll reach that stage where everybody will love me but at present I know I have some like flaws in myself and I'm trying to improve on it but one news that I want to say you guys is that I now I have to do my undergraduate courses and now I feel that the video which you see sometimes gonna be like the gap between two videos might be a big bigger yeah that's pretty much it guys that's all the what I want to say in this video that's all for today I hope you support me guys it's on from the tech info signing off have a nice day guys.